Hi guys, welcome back to the continuation of the data analysis series in the free online version of Excel. Now we have come a quite far away. We have seen how to do data analysis using the aggregate function. We have seen how to dynamically filter data, how to augment the data using the XLOOKUP function. So we have seen three very important functions, aggregate, filter and XLOOKUP function. Now let us see one more cool data analysis trick on how we can analyze the distribution of our numerical data using the cool new histogram feature of the online version of Excel. So let's take a look. Before we begin, not forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest of data analysis in Python, Pandas and Excel. Let's dive right into it. So I'm going to select the numerical column and here I'm going to insert. I'm going to select the histogram. This is, earlier we used to create histograms you know, manually by using a column chart and having you know, uh, like creating our bins uh, you know, ourselves. Now we can directly select the cool histogram feature. And you can see it has generated my histogram for me. Now let's move this to the right and play around with this with this more. Okay. Now you can see you can try to analyze the data further. I right click and format the data. Okay. And let's see if, it, if we can get more insight from the data. Okay, so I'm going to select the series. And here for the bin value, I'm going to select the bin width. Let me add my own bin width, say 20. And you can see by just a small tweak, I can quickly analyze my numerical data. I can see that most of the weights are at the lower end. So between 5 to 25, there are around 5 transactions between 25 to 45 weight. There's a, the, there are only 2 items. Between 45 to 65, there's only 1. And there's only 1 come between 65 to 85. So the weights in the higher range are very few and the weights in the lower range are a lot more. So this data, you can see it is skewed to the right as it has a very long right tail. If you want to understand more of histograms, do let me know. I'll make a detailed video on that and how you can analyze your statistical data using histograms. If you like this video, leave a like and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest of Python, Pandas and Excel. I'll leave a comment on my video as well. Thank you.